Hi folks, right back to oil painting. I've done some more tiles this week. Uh, <clears throat> I've got my colours put out, so they might, one or two might be a bit tacky. A couple of days old, but this that's quite fresh. Um, the yellow oak is fresh, and so is the white. But if, if the blue is still a bit is a bit stiff, I'll add some fresh. Uh, a mountain scene. Sort of a typical Welsh skyline, well, in my opinion. My uh, my uh, interpretation, a bit of grassy slopes, like a bit of a, a bit of a lake or something. I did something similar like this a while ago. Um, <clears throat> so here we go. Um, I'm going to use my knife to start with, just to get in, get some paint on. Um, I have a, quite a bit of a dramatic sky. Uh, uh, so let's use a bit of red, a bit of cerulean. Just, just whacking it on. So I'm going to blend this as an underpainting in the sky. Oh, I'm going to put out some Viridian. I've got the Viridian. The Viridian I've got is about 20 years old. So I'm just going to squeeze some out and I'm going to just mix it with a bit of, bit of oil, a bit of linseed. So I'll use that, that brush there. Just to give it a bit of soften. Scrape off some out of the brush. It's a great mixer with uh, yellow ochre and cadmium yellow pale. <clears throat> so I'll, I'll use some of that I think. Put the brush there, we we'll won't forget it. Uh, okay, now a bit of but a bit of bit of light light in the sky, so get a bit of bit of cad red, a bit of yellow. I don't want to turn this into a knife painting. I'm just going to uh, just put a bit of oil on that now. Use a large brush and just see what happens to it. Great way to develop a sky. Start with not knowing what to do, and then just see what happens. And if you like a bit, then develop it. What we don't want is pretty. Or what I don't want is pretty. A bit darker. This is just a bit of old Fabriano. 130 pound studio paper. It's got about a third wood pulp. Uh, sorry, third uh, yeah, well, yeah, rag, and the rest is cellulose. But I've been using it for quite a while, and it's pretty stable. All right, okay. Back a bit of Payne's grey, I think. Payne's grey. Of the ultramarine. Don't want too many holes poking through the like holes being uh, the white paper sparkle. That's what I'm going to show. What I'm doing. That's wrong, wrong place. 
That's the trouble when you cover your, your, your sketch up. Yeah, the paint is a bit stiff. Mind you, the oil is too. Right, let's go and go back and do some some of the landscape now. Uh, bit of paint grey, bit of blue. A lot of paint grey. Yeah. Bit of skin there. See any uh, loose hairs, just pull them out. Now you were soft. Bit of blending. The radio, <laughs> Noddy Holder, if you remember him, <laughs> he was a legend. Soften everything. Bring the sky into the uh, into the distant, cold, cold uh, toned landscape. Let's get some of this. Uh, A bit of a bit of red. That's a yellow on that horizon, I quite like yellow. Right, now just drag over that uh, profile. Put a little bit of light on that, just to break up the monotony of solid colour. Right, we'll go back to that. I'll just do a bit of bit of sky now, a bit of a bit of that blue mixed. I don't want uh, too much finish. Oh, 
Oh, I know a bit of, bit of dark. I get through a lot of toweling. I've got loads left, so uh, won't be running out till probably Christmas time. Bit of panes, bit of red. Okay, well I don't dislike that. Let's uh, get another plane in now. Get uh, one here. See what happens when we go with the uh, paints grey and ultramarine. Coal black reminds me of uh, Dylan Thomas. Quite well sparred. I was in a play once, all years ago, it's a lot of amateur drama. We did uh Hold on. I can't, I can't remember it. Um Underbuilt Wood. I've accidentally missed a bit of uh, that uh, Viridian with that. The Undermill Wood, and I had three parts in it. I, I was always a perpetual spear carrier. We had a. That was put on in a church hall. <laughs> but it was good, we had a great cast, and, and the narrator of it, Bill, uh, Bill Saw. I remember his. I mean, uh, Jim, Jim Saw went on to become a professional actor and that group was Wallington Operatic Society it was the oldest amateur acting society in, in, in the country and uh, I think Donald Sindon came from there with Donald Sindon Well, I've seen several drama groups, I used to love it. Love the uh, social side of it. But Under Milkwood was probably the loveliest one I was in. It was in Under Milkwood, not Under Milkwood, um, King and I, that was on quite a large stage, that one. In the f when we had the theatre called the Seacomb Centre, which the council stopped backing and uh, folded. Uh, right now we'll, we'll get some. Uh, I'll, I'll get some more detail, some more depth into that. Uh, let's come down. So I keep away from the middle. I don't know what I'm doing here. I'm, I'm just bugging in paint and justify it later. A bit of bit of red in there. Well, that's certainly different, isn't it? So this is an original, folks, and my tea is getting cold.
Oh, there we go, so I'll just drink it. It's very cold today. This time last week it was about uh, about 24, 25 degrees centigrade going on to about 30. It's now about about uh, 8 or 9 degrees centigrade. But it's, it's warming up though, it's a lovely day. But autumn has come all of a sudden from wonderful summer. Uh, right, okay, now then let's uh, get some of this uh, yellow ochre into that. Into that. A bit of yellow in there. A bit of white. Bit red in that. Just, otherwise, it's a bit, bit stark. So we're having fun. We're, we're just enjoying the process of painting rather than what it's going to end up like. So I want to blend some of this. I'm a great believer in using the largest brush you can get away with. Just soften. See the the light the light is coming down into the painting here. Using this big brush, yeah, use the large, largest brush you can get away with. But that's just me. I'm not a one for great detail. I can't. I'm not. It's not what I do. I'm much more impressionist. some more of that lovely viridian. It gives a, a luminosity to the yellows or to the greens. So see, look, it's, it's stiff. I'm going to have to get some more. Anyway, it's Patreon payday uh, next week, so if you want to contribute towards the cost of all this, it would be greatly appreciated. Right, uh, uh, alizarin, let's have some alizarin out there, instead of that cad red. Oh, that's nice cad red deep here. Still got a bit of that for, for, um, alizarin left. It mixes very well with viridian for warm or cool darks. I'll show you. So I want quite a bit of dark shadow in. Here, I'll put some rocks in there. I'm oh, just, just putting a little bit of a rocks or stuff. Right, okay. Right, so lovely mix of uh, of uh, that with uh, the viridian 
and a bit of bit of A bit of red and a bit of that too. I haven't forgotten my pond. I'll put that in somewhere. Now we're getting more rough now. So we're coming into that so. about the wobble and now if you want light show dark and then contrast I'm not sure about the lake now. Oh, I'm not sure about the lake now. Uh, could it Oh, well that, that'll do, it's just a bit of, bit of sparkle in there. Have a bit of that light coming down there. Not sure about that wedge there, I'll have to do something with that. I quite enjoy this. Let's get some, some of that uh, bit of uh, stuff. Sorry if my head's getting in the way.
I'm creating this foreground to make it look like a foreground without actually putting any detail in. Just brush strokes. Just a bit of a bush, I think. Bit of that, bit of that, bit of that. It looks like something, but in fact it's just what you wanted to be. It might have been better without that. But anyway, so now. I like that, I don't really like that. Let's see what I can do with that. I might just put a bit, a bit more dark on it. Uh. See, the, the, what's happening now is that the the paper is soaking out the oil, or lifting out the oil. Right, I, I quite like that. I don't know about you, but I'll take the uh, clips off. This oh, a big clip. Here, I'm really suffering with my wrist now, but that I, I, would be a very easy one to to do. But now it's not; it's quite difficult. But it's a marvelous three of them, marvelous clip. Uh, so let's get a get the mount. Pick up my bottles. I just knocked over. Uh, move that. in the middle get the big mounts well there we are uh, for all its faults it's uh, an impression of Welsh hills or any hills really you can as you see I, I made it up and I just went I just developed it, I just added colour, took colour out, blended a bit, Bro broke it up in other words, there's no, I tried to avoid uh, flat passages, it's got to have something, some action in it, but all my other views I express are my own, and I might change my mind tomorrow, but I'm quite excited about that, it's, it's different, it's different, I've produced an original piece of art <coughs> that nobody else has done. Um, anyway, I'm going to get that uploaded now. I hope you like it and uh, I might do another one. It's only half past ten, so I might do another one. But I really enjoy doing work on paper. It's, quite, it's good quality stuff, really. Uh, the 100% rag would be even better, but um, 
it doesn't buckle. It, it will buckle if I prime that with PVA glue both sides to start with to seal the surface. It will buckle. And then I'd have the light going off in all different way directions because of the way the light is reflected. But that is perfectly flat. And that will be dry in two or three days, a couple of days. The one I did, uh, the knife painting I did what, two or three days ago, is uh, it's touch dry and it was some of the paint was quite thick. So it's because the paper drags the oil or sucks the oil out of the out of the wet paint. And it does go through, it does go through to the other side, but it doesn't matter, it's not going to go anywhere. And you can mount them either on a piece of say MDF, stick them to a piece of MDF, or you can mount them as a watercolour with a double mount and a nice piece of glass, a nice simple frame. Uh, but anyway, thanks for watching guys. See you soon. Bye bye.